What's up guys welcome back to part 29 tutorial of make your Android application. Now let's continue our designing of layout of our custom title bar. After checking all these criteria it's time to see the steps to add our custom title bar. Now our first step is to create a separate layout for the action title bar or you can say the action bar in simple words. Now let us go to our Eclipse and create a separate layout for our custom title bar. Now in order to save time I have created two XML layouts front page title bar XML and questions title bar dot XML. Just click open it. It also. Now here you can see front page title bar dot XML and questions title bar dot XML. Now in both the XML layout what I have used I have used a linear layout. Now by default it was a vertical orientation change it to horizontal. Right. Now similarly in questions title bar also, yeah orientation is horizontal, no props. Now let us do one thing guys, let us change the height to let's say 60 dp, fine. Now similarly here also height let it be 60 dp. Now add the background, add the redrawable question title bar. Now this is the image that I have stored inside my drawable folder. Let me show that image, how our title bar will look like. You can check out this is our image and its dimension is about 1075 cross 129. This image is actually in kilobytes. Make sure guys you use an image whose size is very less and the resolution should be sufficient enough to fulfill the dimensions to be compatible with tablets too. Now similarly our front page title bar, go to it. Now here add background, add the red drawable then front page title bar right now this is the image that I have stored inside our drawable folder again let's check out how it look like so our front page title bar will look like this and its dimension is also similar to what I have taken for questions title bar fine now go to the graphical layout zoom it now you can see it is looking quite simple now let's do one thing close all these stuffs so our front page title bar is looking like this and our question title bar is looking like this. Now we can add text view and buttons to it. Let's check out our next step. Our second step is to add all required widgets, buttons, text view, edit text etc. These are the snapshots of our title bar. This is the front page.xml how our title bar is going to look like and this is our custom title bar of questions.xml how our title bar will look like this. We are having a button here and also one button will be here. This will be used for text to speech conversion and this will be used a button out here I will add here to stop the text to speech functionality right. Now inside the front page title bar we are having a text view. So just drag and drop a text view. Now double click on this text view. Let's change it to TV front page underscore title bar. Make it elaborative right. Now width and height. Let it be like this text. Now later on guys I will store this text inside where strings.xml because this is not a recommended approach to use the hard coded string out here. Fine. Now let's change the text size. Let it be 25 sp. Now let's change the text color to white so as to make it visible. Now go to the graphical layout, awesome, it's looking white and quite bold. Now let us align it where, at the center of this layout. Go to front page or title bar. Now inside the linear layout just add gravity as what center. If you remember guys I described the gravity and layout gravity all those stuffs in detail when I was discussing the linear layout right. Now the crack interview the text view has been aligned itself at the center of this layout. Now guys I think the text size should be at least 30 dp change it 30 dp sorry 30 sp. Now let's check yeah pretty awesome. Now in our question title bar we need to add a button out here and a button at the right hand side and at the center we are having a text view. So let's add a button. Then a text view. Then again a button right. Now double click on this button. 
remove this text we don't want it from here also remove the text give the ID as B speak we will add a functionality of text to speech conversion that's why I have given the ID B speak now here let's write B stop mute now let's give the text as category question now let's do one thing guys again let's set the gravity as center fine and change the text size as what let's say 25 sp and text color let's say white ff 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 hexadecimal value now let's go to the graphical layout awesome our layout is looking quite awesome now guys i have written the category question just because we are going to use the same title bar for both our activity simplequestion.java and toughquestion.java so when we are going to open our simplequestion.java then dynamically this text view will convert into simple questions and if we open our toughquestion.java then dynamically this category question will be converted into what tough questions and this button guys let's add the image to it background add the red drawable speak then here background at the red drawable stop mute right now let's go to graphical layout oops looking quite big now do one thing change the width and height to what let's say 40 dp here also 40 dp now repeat these two layout height and width for this button also fine now our layout is again looking quite pretty awesome now guys let's make some space between these two text view and buttons right so what we're gonna do just we are going to add layout margin right 10 dp and here layout margin left 10 dp now let's check our graphical layout now here you can see this button is having a margin of 10 dp from this text view and this top button is having a layout margin of 10 dp from the left of this text view right so it has now become very easy for us to use our attributes because we have seen all the attributes of the linear layout in details now guys do one thing in the front page title bar add the id to this layout this is the most important thing when you are designing a custom title bar right front page title bar right copy it and here also assign the ID let's write question page title bar so I have assigned the ID to both the linear layout of both the title bars right now guys let us let's do one thing let's open our strings.xml and let's write questions right now save it and go to our title bar xml now do one thing provide the address at the red string right here we go at the top of the front page I'm having a custom title bar of Android interview questions category save it now in the graphical layout again so our graphical layout of both the custom title bar are looking quite awesome right so let's do one thing let's check out our next step now our next step is to design the title bar layout for all the screen size and densities and our last step is to inflate the XML layout of title bar in our Java code and finally we will run our application. So step number third and fourth we will check out in the next video. So till then guys if you like what you saw please subscribe to my channel and please guys it's my sincere request to you all to please comment on my video like and share our video wherever you can and support us in a way you can. This is Shrek from Smarter signing off and thanks for watching have a good day thank you.